Hi, in this video I will be demonstrating how to access the Mosaic Psychographic Groups and Types, also known as clusters, uh, through Demographics Now. So whenever you're using Demographics Now, you need to indicate what geographical region you're searching. This can be done in a number of ways. You can add an address, a city, a zip code, etc. directly to this line. So I could put in the zip code um, that is FITs before continuing. Um, it's important to wait for this to appear in orange down below. You then click on it and location is set. Now Demographics Now also allows one to search multiple locations at the same time. Um, one of the easiest ways to do this is um, to go to Options and go to Geography List. It's not as easy just to type in multiple locations. So I recommend for doing multiple locations that you go to the list and then you can see all of the different ways that we can define a location. Now since I've started with a zip code already and it's registered over here, I'm going to simply go to zip codes by county and drill down to the county that is Manhattan, which is New York County. So here's New York State, and here's New York County. And now I have my zip codes. So let's just do the adjoining zip codes, just a few of them here, adjoining to our area. And then I click Done. And now all of those zip codes are up here, and the orange bar has appeared up top that says Location Set. So once you have locations set, you're ready to search. So the first way I'm going to show you to find mosaic psychographic groups and types is under demographics. There are two ways that we can search for mosaic groups and types, mosaic segments. One is to generate a comparison report, which is great when you're comparing multiple areas and the other is to generate a summary report which will take all of these different zip codes and turn them into one geographical region. So let's take a look at what's available under comparison. Remember we're looking at psychographics but you can see that there are other demographic um, categories that can also be searched in this area. So I'm coming down to mosaic and one of the most useful ones is the mosaic comparison report. The mosaic comparison report will tell you what the dominant mosaic psychographic types, also known as clusters, are in a particular area. And because we're doing a comparison report, we will be looking at the zip codes side by side. Now this is just going to generate the dominant types. Okay, so we can see the zip codes side by side and we can see a population count number and a percentage column for each one. So population count is population count of the psychographic category. And the first thing we see is 22,000 some odd A06 jet set urbanites, which are a type of psychographic segment within the power elite group. And they represent 85% of this zip code. And then we have 9,000 and 41,000 and so forth with different percentages represented. So we can scroll through and see if there are any other um, dominant clusters. And as we come down to the G category, Young City Solos, we see there are a number of Urban Edge making up 12%. 24, 29%, 100% here. That's very interesting in this in this zip code and 2,000 some odd here. So we are getting a sense of what types of people live here, and all you need to do to understand more about these segments is to click on the link, and what you're going to get is sort of a snapshot of who this person is, what their household represents, what they earn, what their channel preference is for both purchasing and advertising, 
and and so forth. So this is just a quick snapshot of the type of consumer um, that you would find in this zip code. So that was the Mosaic Comparison Report. If you want more detailed information, the Mosaic Household Cluster Comparison Report is really going to pull out every single Mosaic cluster, also known as Mosaic Type, for the same zip codes. There we go. So here we can see that it's not as simple as it just being Jet Set Urbanites um, in this zip code that we have in fact some American royalty, we have some kids with Cabernet. So this gives you a more nuanced picture of the makeup of the neighborhood. These reports can be downloaded as PDFs, as docs, and they can also be saved directly to Google Drive. Now the next thing I want to quickly show you is the difference between a comparison report and a summary report. So we're going to click on summary. Um, once again, we see various demographic um, statistics that we can search. We're going to come down to the psychographic mosaic categories or segments. The mosaic detail charts is a useful one. Let me show you what it has. We run the report. You run the report and what you get is a snapshot of the total population of this group as an aggregate. So it's not searching each, it's not giving you information about each zip code, it's put them all together as one group. And then it's just giving you a graph of the dominant mosaic groups, not types, also known as clusters those larger categories. So we do not see Jet Set Urbanites, but we do see Power Elite. And then it's broken down to, uh, to us in percentages. Once again, you can click through to find out who this consumer is. For more detail um, and more information, um, the Mosaic Household Summary Index Report. Is also very useful. This one, just like the other cluster report that we looked at, is really going to break out not just the um, groups, but the types. Now, the next thing I want to show you is maps. So we have the various zip codes laid out on a map. So they're not really adjacent, but they're mostly lower Manhattan. And what we want to do is add to this map the variable of the mosaic clusters and groups. So we're going to go to thematic controls and go to variable and choose a variable. We can look at mosaic dominant distributions or household distributions. I'm going to look at household distributions, residential mosaic by adult population, and here I can try to find all of my jet set urbanites. We already know they dominate the area, um, and we're really just looking at zip codes, but I think the beauty of this map will um, become apparent pretty soon. So we can see that Jet Set Urbanites are a dominant um, group throughout Manhattan at various household levels. But as we move out on the map, we also begin to see where else they dominate. Okay, so if we look at parts of downtown Brooklyn, Brooklyn Heights, um, Forest Hills, Queens, we see these dominant clusters and then we can refocus our gaze in a little closer and as we get closer 
we see more definition by block group. Areas like parks and uh, canals are not really going to um, show you any particular demographic. But here you can see little pockets of wealth. And as we get close in, you know, really on the block by block level. And that's using maps with what you've learned from demographic reports. You can then use the map to find other clusters.